Portlanders celebrate our love of the outdoors in every conceivable fashion, rain or shine, whether it's bicycling or hiking, skiing, boating, running, or windsurfing. Practically everyone here has a favorite outdoor activity. So if your family already enjoys an active outdoor life, Portland has a lot to offer. And if you haven't been active until now, you'll find that Portland is the perfect place to begin. If you haven't already noticed, Portland's a great city for people who love riding bicycles. With over 150 miles of dedicated bike lanes, we're known as one of the best cities in the country for cycling. Each and every day, riders of all ages slip on helmets and take to the streets. Portland has bike paths for every kind of rider and many that are perfect for families. Some of our favorite kid-friendly rides include the downtown loop around Waterfront Park and the East Bank Esplanade, the Springwater Corridor, and scenic rides along Sovie Island. There are many other routes to choose from though, and Portland's Office of Transportation makes it easy to plan your family's ideal ride. Your first stop should be their website, gettingaroundportland.org, where you'll find easy to follow citywide bikeway maps. They've also compiled loads of safety and educational information, Portland's rules of the road, plus a calendar of bike events and tours. You'll even find a link to TriMet with instructions for taking your bike aboard local buses and trains. If you're in the market for a new bike, or you're visiting and want to rent one for the day, there are a number of great bike shops around town that can help. Most bike shops here also provide free bikeway maps and will gladly suggest scenic local rides. If the idea of buying a reconditioned bike agrees with you, especially if knowing that 100% of the proceeds will go into community bicycle programs, we recommend the nonprofit Community Cycling Center in Northeast Portland, an organization dedicated to helping our kids. For families who love biking together, there's an annual event not to be missed, the Providence Bridge Pedal. Each August, more than 20,000 riders join together to cross the city's bridges with live music and cheering pedestrians along the route. It's a community celebration that many families look forward to every year. Portland has a reputation as a great bicycling town, but we're also well known among skateboarders. With a number of skate parks to choose from and even more being developed, the skateboarder in your family can hone their skills on a variety of surfaces. But only one, the Burnside Skate Park, can claim legendary status. Entirely designed and built by skateboarders, this amazing concrete park under the east end of the Burnside Bridge is a place where aspiring skateboarders come to witness the best in action. If your family enjoys getting around on foot, you're in the right place. Here in Portland, it's easy to find family-friendly terrain, from woodsy trails that loop through the neighborhood parks and forests to flat paved paths along the river. All you have to do is choose the scenery you're in the mood for today. Then you can select an ideal route by going online to gettingaroundportland.org. There you'll find excellent walking maps, sample walking tours, and useful tips for getting out and exploring Portland on foot. For many, hiking is one of the first outdoor activities that everyone in the family can participate in. And it's a great way for children to develop self-confidence and learn about nature. As a starting point, join one of the trails at Hoyt Arboretum in Washington Park, or begin exploring Forest Park by taking the Lower McClay Trailhead at 29th and Upshur and hiking toward the Audubon Society. Another excursion, one that's particularly good for families with young children, is the Tualatin Hills Nature Park, located 15 minutes west of downtown Portland. This 222-acre wildlife reserve offers five miles of flat, shaded trails winding through marshes, ponds, creeks, and forests. More than a mile of these trails is paved, so it's the perfect place to bring strollers and tricycles on a warm day. There are many useful books on Portland's family-friendly trails, and you can also go online to the Portland Parks website for more information. Sometimes, nothing beats sledding down a hill or tossing snowballs, even in July. When this mood strikes Portlanders, we simply pack up the car and head about an hour east of town to snow-capped Mount Hood for some skiing, snowboarding, or just playing in the snow. Mount Hood has five ski areas and all welcome beginning skiers and families. From downhill and cross-country skiing to snowboarding and snow tubing, lots of adventures await you on Mount Hood. The closest skiing to Portland is at Mount Hood Ski Bowl, with lots of daytime activities and America's largest night ski area. Summit was the first on Mount Hood, and we like it best for snow tubing. 
Mount Hood Meadows, which includes Cooper Spur, is the largest and has a daycare facility. And Timberline, home of the historic Timberline Lodge, is located highest on the mountain and boasts the longest ski season in North America. So go online for a closer look. No matter where you begin, you'll have a great time playing on Mount Hood. Whether frozen or in its liquid state, Portlanders share a love affair with water. We live in a more or less continuous mist during the winter months, and in warmer weather, we climb into fountains or head west to the coast. And some of us head for the Columbia River Gorge to enjoy the exhilarating sport of windsurfing. If you think you're ready to give windsurfing or kiteboarding a try, we suggest heading about 60 miles east of Portland to the town of Hood River, where consistent wind conditions have made this area along the gorge a mecca among windsurfers and kiteboarders alike. A great place to begin is the Hood River event site, where beginner and intermediate lessons are available. Parking is easy, and on most days, you'll witness some amazing practitioners in action. To learn more about windsurfing in the gorge, just visit the Columbia Gorge Windsurfing Association's website. With the Willamette and Columbia Rivers at our doorstep, plus all the nearby lakes and ponds, there are lots of activities for families to enjoy in and on the water. From kayaking and canoeing, to sailing and rafting, any fan of boating will find a convenient launch site nearby. To get started, we suggest a visit to the Portland Boathouse on the east side of the Willamette at the end of the Hawthorne Bridge. There, you'll find resources for rowing and paddling, plus information on classes for people of all ages. A number of rowing clubs are based in the boathouse and a store offers boat rentals and sales. And since there's a boat launch located only a few steps away, you won't have to travel far to begin your Portland boating adventure. So you now have a few ideas for actively enjoying the outdoors here with your family. Whether on foot, in or on the water, down a snowy hill or on wheels, the perfect outdoor activity is waiting for you.